Yo, check it, I got a story to tell About the cutest little critters that you ever did smell The fluffy and the meow and always catching my eye They're the kings and queens of the kitty cat style I'm talking about the feline crew, so extraordinary They got the swag and the moves, legendary From calico to tabby, every color in the mix The strut around the block, got that kitty cat fix Meow, 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 they're the feline rhyme spitters Purring through the night, catching mice like a cat ninja Meow, 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 they're the kings and the queens With the funny little antics, they're the cutest things you've seen I'm no shame for history Stalker at your prison You seem deeply confused child Oh stalker, I'm not like you I am no shame for history Stalker Joy prison I can see the bench of mercies, purchase it and enlist it. I'm still in that plastic, I find it's all invested. Uh, so where to say to me? Send killing me the plain life, maybe. I can cuss the teeth of the magnet that fight your heart, say it. It's free of plastic, so what you sound like, I'm there. She's out of plastic, keep that data. I can't just go up this machine, you're not mine. Once again, I'm over here Eating plain chips, minding my own business And living my retarded life Somehow, I'm the bad guy today Once again, I'm over here Eating plain chips, minding my own business And living my retarded life Somehow I'm the bad guy today. Hi, dorks. Is are you guys there? Are you guys there? Hi, dorks. <clears throat> How many dorks in the chat? Hello, St. Patrick. Let me scroll to the top. Jeremy Burtz, hello. You were the first to arrive. Voravox, Christopher Levick, never seen you before. I should be clicking on these. I'm out of practice. I sound like crap. There's people playing loud instruments nearby. It's not going to be good. Hello. Lord Nemesis Spurg, number one, late and lesbian. Let me know if there's sound issues, sound quality problems. Um, Steve Brown, Haldir6480, hello. Blue Flyer, Kyle Cluckin. Yeah, I'm looking all, I'm going to look all closely at who's in my chat. I'm going to spy on you guys too. Maybe, maybe we'll do some of that. Um, hi, Linkovic. And Perth is here. Wow, wow, wow. We Perth, you were relevant because that Watergate scandal came up again today. The Comicsgate Watergate scandal came up on Twitter. Most of you might know what that's about. Ryu didn't know Sheila was going trans cat. 
I don't know. I just mixed my picture with with my alien cat logo, and this is what it came up with, and I think it's cute. Um, what else? Who else is here? Oh, Sheila's here. Hello, Sheila. Um, Douglas Dauntless. Meow. Wolverine, hello. Meow, meow, meow. Richard Gradwell. And I think it's, uh, oh, whoa, bro. Hello. Hello to everybody who's in here from Discord, Comicsgate, Dabbleverse. That's about it. And the UFO people. All right, you can hear me. Yay, Keiko Diamond. Demon. Allie has wet gloves, says Seven of Nine. Yes. Let's just get in that. It's like a quick little fun. It's a fun drama thing because it's kind of inconsequential to most people. But it's fucked up. And as a girl, I think it's really fucked up that a girl would do that. And a woman would do this to another. Oh, my God, there's people talking about. That a woman would do that to another woman, especially a sweet woman like Mandy. Let me go to Twitter real quick. That is where that T is located at. Hold on. So you guys might know Allie. Some of you, a lot of you know her. She's a... What is she again? A writer? I'm sorry. No, she's an artist. I don't know who she is. I'm sure she's great at her art and craft, but... um. She got into it today with Ethan Van Skyver, or yesterday, whatever. Let me go to his channel, or his page. Let me see, you guys. Um, so, the thing is, at the Tampa Bay Comic Con, where the Dungeoneer crap happened, um, Allie went up to Mandy, I guess Mandy had a, a pile of her own books there, and... Allie pretended to trip or fall and spilt water all over Mandy, like, oops, <laughs> like total mean girl style, and then walked away laughing. And that is that that's what Mandy claims happened. And it's not like Mandy to go around lying, okay? But the thing is, we, several of us have asked Allie straight up if that is true. She denies it. And... It, I mean, flat out says that she had a very pleasant interactions with Mandy. Nothing of the sort happened. No water was spilt accidentally or otherwise. Now, isn't that strange? Let me share my screen. I'm not sharing my screen. It's a whole Watergate scandal. And correct me if I'm getting anything wrong, you guys. Uh, here we go. All right. Hi, Adrian Stone. I know what's all these new names, but welcome, welcome, new namers. So Allie is a catty girl. Um, and then today, I think it was today, she put out a tweet talking shit about Mandy's boobs. Because she's like, likes to talk about Mandy's boobs. Um, hold on here. It's hard to backtrack and get all this bullshit. I'm not used to doing this. I was about to bail on you guys, but then I saw that there was already 56 comments. I was like, oh, God damn it. I have to do it. You guys are actually up. And like, gonna hold me accountable. Um, what is Allie's Twitter? I'm too tired for this. And Ethan was kind of like, "Oh no, she said she didn't do it." And, and Mandy was like, "No, she totally did do it." Let's go to my profile because I retweeted. Mandy says, "No, it was definitely her." And this is her clapping back. Oh, so Allie has me blocked. I guess this is Allie responding to Mandy in this thread. Um, Because I was like, I popped in this thread. I wasn't, it was none of my business, but I popped in anyway. Um, oh, okay. So she blocked me. That's why I can't see what the fuck she said. She said something about uh, Mandy's boobs got her where she's at today. It's something to that effect, which she is always insinuating and talking shit about. And um, I was like, aha, so you do have a problem with Mandy? Because when I was asking you if you spilt the water on her, you were acting like an innocent little bird. It was so funny. This was all in DMs. I'm not going to dox the DMs, but she was so she's like, you don't understand. If I had accidentally spilt water on her, I would feel terrible for the rest of the day. 
And I was like, okay. I mean, very convincing denying, which is disturbing because she did do it, in my opinion, because I'm going to choose to believe Mandy. It's a dumb thing. It's water. Whatever. So, and I was like, just with her exposing her seething bitterness and jealousy towards Mandy like that, it, it, it leaked out. And I was like, I knew it. She's the water spiller. <laughs> that was my conclusion. 43 hearts I got there for my detective work. Um, and also Perth Comics questioned her at length. I think Angela Curry may have also questioned Allie about that. We all got lies, in my opinion. And then Ethan comes back with, oh, I really get the feeling that Allie likes Rini a lot. So she's protective over her. It's like, well, how does being protective over your friend mean you got to go and openly um, insinuate that uh, it's just Mandy's tits got her where she's at? And like she hasn't put in years and years of work, which is evident on her own channel because she's done live streams for the past several years promoting smaller creators and being a pillar of the community. You might not like it that she has a nice body, but that's just a aside aside from the fact of the hard work she's put in and um i guess ali is mad on behalf of rini who i don't even know if rini's mad about that um hold on i said protective doesn't mean go out of her way to be mean to mandy who hasn't done anything to either either of them there's no need for protection from mandy but i get it if you're protective of your friend Go ahead and do that, but she's offensively going out and just being a dick to sweet Mandy. And then Ethan came back. I don't know what this is about. He said, I haven't done a goddamn thing, but be kind and generous to Irene and look at how Allie speaks to me. <laughs> I didn't see what she said to him, and I can't see it because I'm blocked. Uh, so whatever she said highly offended Ethan, and I was like, then I started, I was like, yeah, she's a cunt. Mm -mm -mm, what did I say? Oh, I said, Allie's a secret mean girl. Covertly envious and resentful. She spilled water on Mandy on purpose. The petty cunt. And some people were like, wait, what? What happened? I didn't hear about that. And then um, Ethan was like, Rini isn't saying anything. It's Allie. I know, yeah, yeah, but Allie's doing this on behalf of Rini, and she doesn't need to be doing this. I don't think Rini is the one causing problems. She wouldn't. She's not that type. But um, her dumb friend is like that. But, yeah, Allie has no reason to be like this towards Ethan or whatever. She's allowed to be this way, but she's also going to experience clap back and it's really you shouldn't be assaulting people with water at these conventions that's a big no-no you bitch she doesn't like mandy wise as boo brancher um because mandy is cute has big tits but also has a, a seat in the upper echelon of comics gate as far as the creators go it's not like irene wasn't there as well and she didn't have to shake her tits i guess she chose to sometimes or was pressured into it, whatever. I mean, Irene could have easily maintained her position on par with Mandy, so I don't know. Oh, it's just Allie. It's, it's, Allie is the one who harbors these jealous feelings. I don't know what, it's not, I guess Allie, it doesn't seem like she really tried to get into Comics Gate. She did try to put out a book. I don't know how successful her um, egg beater book was. It looked interesting. I don't know. I don't know. But she's always on the outskirts doing her own thing. I don't even think she went, cared about Comics Gate or who is in what position. She's basically just being a, a mean girl. Some women are like this. I, some women are just like this. They're naturally competitive, jealous saboteurs. Saboteurs. I'm probably just raised by a bitchy kind of catty mom. I can't relate because I didn't I didn't have a mommy and so I didn't have to turn into this kind of a bitch. I'm a different kind of bitch, but I don't get catty. And like stop talking about Mandy's boobs. Unless you're gonna like say they're nice because they're nice, but like come on. Uh what am I missing in the chat? 
So that's one little piece of drama. It's whatever. It's the Watergate scandal. And it's I just find it so interesting. The amount to which Allie acted like that didn't happen. She said the only interaction she had with Mandy and her husband were completely pleasant. That's it. There was no water involved. I'm surprised there's no witnesses of the water incident. Nobody wants to say that they saw it happen. It's fucking weird. <laughs> it's weird, but it's also pointless, but it's also weird. So it's really, it keeps me up at night sometimes. DJ Gravy Mix says, Rini has delusions about Malin being more mean to her than, yeah. That's just, that's the part of the K-Fab, first of all. And I thought she handled it pretty well, especially when she drew that picture of her cat character, like, mauling him to death. That was badass. <laughs> she played she played along very well. I know it's hard to uh, roll with the punches as a girl in comics game, maybe. I'm used to it by now. It doesn't mean it. <laughs> but, like, the average woman finds all this very strange and rude and abrasive. <laughs> uh, so, Rini, she hung in there pretty pretty good but in hindsight she doesn't need to go back and act like that was just playful competitiveness because Malin saw her as a pretend threat or basically he's just saying you're my peer and I need to beat you and make sure that uh you don't take my my pretend place or whatever that's the way I saw it um and also John is a dick he's a dick so welcome to comics gate but it's all playful. I always saw that as playful, so I don't know. She she could have stood up for herself a little bit more, I guess. But yeah, what a hassle. <laughs> I can see how that could get exhausting for a nice girl to have to constantly be in this pretend fight mode to interact with John Malin. He gives me trouble as well. <laughs> Anytime I get on there, I get grilled about my, my love life in depth. In depth, I get interrogated by everybody. And I, you know, I get it. Playful misogyny, yeah. It was just, that's what I say. It just means he likes you. I mean, you're like, you're his friend as far as I'm concerned. It means you, you're you his buddy at that point. Um, That's it. But women will be women and they will be weird about stuff. So, but, and people are like, uh, somebody said the other day, Sheila, you got to save Narwhal from Rini. He's fine over there. She's a good kid. She's a good artist. She's doing fine with her streams. I think she's still doing good. She's fine. Narwhal's fine over there or wherever he wants to go. I like Narwhal. He's cool. Everything's cool. Nobody needs to be rescued. So that's that little tiny drama. John asks good questions. John's hilarious. He really is. It's funny, funny, funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, the problem is he gets to the, what do you call it? The quick, the wick, you know, he cuts to the bone really quickly. And uh, doesn't give you time to think of any type of bullshit to lie. <laughs> Whoever has the biggest boobs win. That would be Anna, I think, right? I think she wins. I don't know. I guess we'll have to do a comparison to find out. Darn it. It's the only way we can find out is to compare them all. John doesn't get out much, but he means, oh, yeah, yeah. That's correct, Blue Branch. But that's just his, it's just John. That's his personality. Like, it's not, I hope she knows that wasn't actually mean. Maybe somebody's whispering in her ear, acting like, like maybe somebody like Ali from the outside looking in might, might not understand the joke. She also, um, Ali, didn't find it too amusing, all the stuff that was being said to her and stuff when she was on a live stream that one time. I don't know if any of you remember that, but that was kind of funny. They couldn't get a, a fucking laugh out of her for anything. And um, she's getting really annoyed. Forget who it was. I know it was John and some other people causing her problems. It is what it is. It is. <laughs> Peter Sky Parker. <laughs> Sheila, and now I know what it must feel for non feel like for non Dabbleverse people to hear about the Dabbleverse. Correct, Peter Sky Parker. You'll get the same effect if you go into any little niche community here on YouTube, and uh, you're like, wait, who's this? You won't know who the players are, what they're talking about, the inside jokes, 
the nicknames of people that you should know for the story to make sense. None of it. You just walk, you just walk in and walk on out. Walk right the fuck back out unless you're being entertained enough. Hi, Blue Flyer. But you're welcome to stay here. Of course, of course. I'm just saying, yeah. This is a... This is six years worth of deep lore going on right here. And I wouldn't even know how to explain it. Anna, or Scott, Spike in Madness, hello. It says Anna, Mandy, Allie, and Sheila need to have a boob off. Yeah, maybe we just all need to hug it out. And nothing against Allie. Whatever. But um, what a bitch. <laughs> to be mean to Mandy, who's just a sweetheart. And then to be like that good at lying like Allie's a good liar she's a good liar dude she's really a good liar it's manipulative it's scary and it's kind of sexy <laughs> Allie is a good liar um Peter Sky Parker is here for it Alrighty. what's next other than that I got nothing what else is going on I felt like there's there's a lot going on but well, my brain can't retain much more than this petty little side drama because everything else is so stupid. Everything else is so stupid that Ethan keeps getting himself into. It's absolutely st retarded. Um, oh, yeah. I was, like, running errands and stuff the other day when he replayed. I didn't know it was a replay at the time. I was wondering why people in the chat were saying, why are you replaying? He's replaying the interview of the the anti-pedo movie director guy's interview interview on Ethan's channel the other night. Okay. <laughs> um, that was weird. I don't know much about that guy, but for Ethan to throw the, the guy who made an anti-pedo movie, like documentary, which is helpful, good stuff to bring awareness to, whatever, throw him under the bus because Ethan Ralph has a problem with him and like ambush him with Ethan Ralph who has not even seen that documentary, but wants to come on and spurg it. It was weird. It was weird. Was that weird? Am I, am I tripping? I thought that was weird. <laughs> I was like, that's a guy. He made a cool documentary. What What the fuck has Ethan Ralph done to help anybody? He hasn't made anything cool or, or interesting, in my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was like, just be, oh, because that guy's friends with the Soska sisters, who... News alert, I haven't done anything wrong. Technically, literally, and figuratively, and law-wise, I haven't done anything wrong. They can be weird and give off weird vibes, but uh, at the end of the day, Ethan assuming that they are going to come in and somehow ruin his comic book making. I don't get it. Go ahead and bag on them. They are creepy looking, this, that, and the other. But they didn't. they haven't done anything wrong. And they have not. <laughs> it wasn't weird. I thought it was weird. Hmm. Because I thought that director guy was like deserved some more like respect or something. And Ethan ambushed him on there. But I guess that am that director guy is like having fun spurging out on Ethan Ralph as though who cares? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Again, I was running all around town. I was only listening and I didn't understand it. It's too much. Too much stuff. But Ethan remains entertaining. So whatever. I know a lot of you don't like the drama. A lot of you miss the comic books, which I understand that. But yeah, when you turn Ethan on, he still kind of keeps you watching because he's always interesting and funny. And you like the way he talks and uh, the things he does and says is funny. You can't help it. You know? But sometimes you got to step back and like not get on board with every crazy thing he's doing. But I can appreciate it for the entertainment value for sure. But I sometimes I have to step back and be like, to not get swept up in like actually having the same <laughs> point of view as him. Usually he used to be more level headed. He's getting a little bit cray cray, but it's cool. I'm here for it. Lord Nemesis. Indeed, St. Patrick. Um, unplugging is good for mental health. Adrian Stone misses E's John Malkovich monologues. I never knew he did those. Did he do those? 
Like he's done a lot of things. I don't know. I know that name, John Malkovich. I don't know who, exactly who that is. Or I know there's a movie about that guy. Swept up in what? Seven of nine? Swept up in... <laughs> In um, like just like thinking Ethan is like justified in every opinion he has, every little battle he's choosing to fight that doesn't need to be fought, like 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 um, trashing the Saska sisters by assuming even the guy, the director guy was like, so you're just assuming that they're at some at some point in the future going to ruin comics because you comics were ruined by women before for you. That's basically what it is. And I understand he's wounded by that. Ethan is rightfully paranoid and he should, you guys should be wary and worried of women coming in and doing that. But there's no current evidence that those girls are, is there? Oh, I guess they do like trans kids, huh? Are they, pro yeah, all right. So I get it, but still, uh, if they are pro-trans kids, they can fuck off. Forgot about that part. I don't know. There's so much to it, but as it stands, like they're just there. They're just they're just existing. But if they're going to end up like corrupting Eric July and with wokeism, then just let it happen. Let him be destroyed, and that'll be that. It'll be, you can say "told you so." But at this point, they haven't done anything wrong, and it's kind of dividing. Some people like J JDA likes them. There's other people who think, and they haven't done anything wrong. They're just there. We could wait and see if they're they're probably better writers than Eric July. Seven of Nine kind of has the right attitude. Peter Sky Parker. Hey, Seven of Nine, Peter Sky Parker is actually like really hot in real life. Just like the picture. Seven of Nine. Seven, I'm just saying. Peter wants to have Seven of Nine's attitude in life. I'm just, I'm sorry, Peter. I forget you're not from these, from this neck of the woods. <laughs> yeah. Me and Seven of Nine like to crush on the same guys on the internet. He's our, he's our resident gay man. It, much fun. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Peter Sky Parker. Andy Montemayor. A Cocker Spaniel is a better writer than Eric July. All right, then maybe we should show some reverence to the Cocker Spaniel or to the Sasuke sisters or not. They look like, you know, the brides of Beelzebub. It's okay, Peter Sky Parker. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm just playing Cupid in my own chat. I'm so proud of myself. Where's Angela been? She doesn't come around in Ethan's chat or like. <laughs> Which one of you, who was that guy, Sir Angus Fungus or whatever, who was talking to Angela, an invisible Angela that wasn't there in Ethan's chat for hours the other day? And he did that before, too. Why does he do that? Does anybody know? Don't make me show you. I'll show you. Because uh, he was in the chat room. He kept talking, adding Angela, tagging Angela, who was not in there, who was not saying she wasn't in there. She wasn't. He talked to her for hours, imaginary. Why? And he's a moderator there. Do we realize that we have a crazy moderator <laughs> on Ethan's? It's fine. I just don't get what that kind of troll. It's a funny troll and is quite interesting. Let's investigate that. Let's investigate the chat real quick. I'll bring it up in a second. Hold on. Uh, I really like. I'm going to show you. Well, for those who haven't seen it from the moderator side yet. There's a cool new feature for us where we can see everybody's channel activity from directly from the chat. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's see. It's a brand new feature. I'm going to show you guys. And it's like I'm a, I'm a mod for a lot of channels, too, so I can snoop on everybody. You guys hear that shitty, like, music in the background? Anyway. Only because cock is... Did I put that? What is that? Chat? Cock is in its name? Okay. Wodenshaw is Shane's new crush as St. Patrick T. Yeah. They're having a little... 
budding romance, are they? Um, Pastor Flash says, when was this Angela had a different YT name? Yeah, this was since she changed it back to Angela. It wasn't her Tay-Tay. I, I know who Tay-Tay is, too. And I'm glad she changed it back. But no, this is since she changed it back to Angela. He was adding Angela Curry and talking to her for hours in the chat when she wasn't there. And a couple of us noticed. We're like, why? why? But for the most part, nobody said anything. And which one was it? I think it was this one. You guys seeing all this? Let's look at this new feature. Let's look at the new feature. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get off there. Zoom in. Can I zoom in? Can I enhance? I'm gonna try to enhance. What does that do? Let me see. much all right anyway so so here we have people you see these people in the chat uh, okay we can now click on them like josh 1945 click on him go to his channel activity it, and it's only for ethan's channel but we get to see all the comments he's made supposedly in the last year on which videos he's made them. So if you click further, you get to see the whole list. So like I was looking at Jabba's whole comment. It's so funny just seeing just Jabba's comments on all the Ethan's videos or or like Finatra's. Um, there's Josh talking to Jamie Max. That's one example. But so the guy who was doing it, let me see if I can find him in the chat. He was called, and I have a handy dandy um plug in for that called youtube comment search so i can sir something what's that fucker's name you guys sir angus fungus okay so now i have a timestamp where he said something there he said something or other now i gotta find him over here there he is okay so i'm gonna click on this motherfucker channel activity and this was number 33. Now, can we see where he's fucking talking to Angela? Is it going to be on here? Let's see. You guys are going to think I'm crazy if it's not on here. Hmm. You guys know what I'm talking Angela Curry makes me want to be more of a man. No. Nah. Angela Curry needs a character to slap. That wasn't it. No, he was adding her all night. This thing does not save all of the comments. It actually is full of shit. There he's adding her, but that's not what I meant. He was literally legit having answering as though Angela had said something to him. This thing doesn't save them all, though. That's weird. It, it lies. Unless it's like I have to, oh, skip to different parts. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did see that. Maybe I have to, like, oh, I know what I can do. I'll go over here. Okay, now, okay, now I got this motherfucker. Watch. I got that motherfucker. Okay. All right, I'm going to check on my chat real quick. You think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm going to be redeemed. Thanks to the other plugin I have here. Okay, so here he is just talking to Angela who isn't in the chat. Angela Curry. Listen. Angela Curry. Oh, this is at Angela Curry. Bless at Angela Curry. Hmm, at Angela Curry, question mark. Loves the coom water at Angela Curry. This is a moderator. <laughs> I, I, he was drunk, I'm pretty sure. But why is he so obsessed with Angela? I mean, she's a lovely woman, but he also seems to not like her. Not you. That's Angela Curry. Angela Curry blocked me. Angela Curry runs dogs. Angela Curry, see um, equal opportunity. Angela Curry only fans. Apparently, Angela Curry say sorry. Angela Curry needs a daddy. Angela Curry is toxic fuck stickery. Angela Curry evolved. Only so far. Angela Curry, I'm your Alan Moore. Angela Curry, not a great move. This is somebody who's not, she's, she wasn't there. Does she know she has a, a, a stalker child? Stalker fan? Cotton is having kittens at Angela Curry. With a mouth, Angela Curry. <laughs> what the? I mean, is this weird? Is this not funny and weird? 
the fuck? <laughs> Does he, I guess nobody can really make sense of that for me. Make, make this make sense, but it's a very interesting thing to go through and read because it's like she wasn't in there. And um, that, uh, he's just coming up with this whole fake conversation in his head for some reason. I don't know what to make of it. Angela Curry, simp fence writing. Angela Curry, queen of CG. Angela Curry, it's a choice. If it's a choice. At Angela Curry, this is all fallout. At Angela Curry, oh, this is Josh 1945. At and so Josh is like, Angela Curry must have me blocked <laughs> because we can't see her in there. So Josh 1945 thinks he's blocked by Angela Curry because this guy is talking to a invisible Angela Curry. Um, Angela Curry, at Angela Curry, why do you hate? And even me, I was like, shit, something's wrong. Like she must be shadow banned or something. Legit, I thought that was what happened. Um, Angela Curry, you did me raw. Crystal me a river anti-flow. Okay. You really upset me yesterday. Ooh. At Angela Curry, you really upset me yesterday. This is one of Ethan's moderators. <laughs> I mean, you can, he's been around for years, this Angus guy. This, is he normally this much of a spurg? I get that fago tree. Hello, lovely. Nice avatar um fago says that sir angus claims that angela banned him on vanessa's channel okay that still doesn't explain why he's talking to an invisible non-existent angela in the chat all night for hours that's weird i mean okay <laughs> the fuck yeah i am jealous i don't have a stalker or a simp so what i mean Angela, has anybody told her the good news? Somebody should tell her. Uh, but it's fascinating. Let's keep seeing what else he said. <laughs> Get this extension, though. It's YouTube comment search, and it gives you the timestamps when they say shit. You can export it all. It's actually very helpful. Queen of CG, my ass, Angela Curry. That's DEFCON, all the DEFCON at Angela Curry, poor judgment. At Angela Curry, once my cock met sandwich. Bold is not what you did, Angela Curry. You are underhanded. <laughs> I will snap your Scipio, Angela Curry. Ya knob. I will snap. Get hold on. That was that was epic. What he's gonna snap? Her Scipio. I never heard such a phrase. This is important. Yeah. Angela Curry, you need to protect your Scipio. You need to get insurance. You need to get Scipio protecting devices. Stat. Stat. I don't go after retarded Angela Curry. Angela Curry, it was always good natured, you bitch. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, right, right, right. This is, uh, he's, 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 I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just the alcohol, if that's the case. He he did, he owes her an apology. Six eggs is snake-like behavior, Angela Curry. Yuck, Angela Curry, keep that shit private and with a priest. <laughs> Head Rock says, Angela Curry, are you there? I can't see you. Exactly. Fucking women need to read books. He just goes on all night, just, okay. <laughs> Bizarre much. Fuck off and do a dog, Angela Curry. I mean, really? Is this called is this called for from one of Ethan Van Skyver's moderators? I mean, well, he better just come back and apologize. Um then he kind of got into it with Eric Hufties. You're in here, or Huftles. Keep blocking people with a voice of reason. Angela Curry, are you guys fucking? <laughs> Oh, wow. So that, the, all night. So that's, I just wanted to address that. It goes on. Um, Angela Schmackle was there, but she doesn't count. Um, then he, it just goes on. Dude. He's really obsessed with her. Jeremy Burks was like, what happened to Angela? <laughs> and Hedron's like, is Angela here? <laughs> uh, I was like, why do you hate Angela so much? 
Now he's calling her a horse face. Jamie Max is like, is Angela in the room with us right now? <laughs> Can you see her? Yeah, then I was just like, send her our love from beyond, from beyond the grave. He can see her. 60% <laughs> of these people aren't saying, well, not usually. Usually there's a through line with everybody. Usually, but the what in that instance, I don't get it. <laughs> okay, she blocked him, whatever. But doesn't make any sense of his behavior there. But I just find it interesting. <laughs> and somebody at some point was like, talking to him about how he was obviously drunk, I think. I forget, that might have been Eric or somebody. Hedrock said, I'm not imagining things though, right? Neither Angela nor Fagotree are here. Was he saying shit to Fagotree too? Oh my God. Um, he might've been doing it to all kinds of people. Let's see. Fascinating, fascinating. Is Angela Curry still wrenched? <laughs> Eric Huffies, you have too much glue. Oh, he got you there. He donated two dollars. He said, "Why are people that homosexual, Ethan?" Because okay. Um. Yeah. This is very just a very interesting read because he's just a guy in the chat. He's he acts normal usually. He's been in there for years, and uh, I hope he's doing okay. I hope he hasn't gone off the deep end, thanks to Angela and her blocking. She done drove him crazy. Yeah, he's always been nice. I mean, he, yeah, but I guess alcohol is a hell of a drug. Anyway. Um, we can make music if you want to, guys. If you guys want to make music, this thing I had the beta version. It's called Suno app app dot Suno dot AI. Is it on here? Let me. Am I showing you? Yeah. Okay. Let me zoom out. I had a heart wait. Hard to understand. So this is the beta version because I paid ten bucks, so they gave me. Like I can make 500 songs and then I get to use the beta one, which is like amazingly good. And I'm going to show you some songs I made. I think I made a trash cast one. Um, and I just put in like some weird characters and it started just like, like singing nonsense. It was the most beautiful nonsense I've ever heard in my life. Library. Is it this? Pretty. It's, it's interesting. It sounds like shit. It's just funny because it, it absolute, um, it starts singing in gibberish, but also it can sing whatever lyrics you want to put into it. So if anybody has lyrics, and a genre, we can make some shit happen. It makes really good country songs, like it makes really good pop songs. Somebody want to make lyrics, or we can also have it generate the lyrics with a topic. And then for now, it lets you cuss. You can put cuss words in there. Sensor Angus Fungus, is he here? The link. Sorry if I'm missing. Am I missing other things happening? Uh, if he's here, I'd love to get him on to a. Do a little checkup from the neck up. Cover Ethan songs like a the last piece of George. I could have the AI cover it. I've covered that one with my own voice too. Um, 
it makes fucking really cool music. And I like that. That was like some weird glitch, like trip hop, like experimental shit. I love that shit. It's really dope. Create a song about spilling water on comics. That's a good idea. Song about a mean girl named Allie who maliciously spills water all. How hot would have that been to see her spill that water on Mandy? All over Mandy at Tampa Comic Con and walks away laughing like a biatch. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to accept this. It's a little bit SJW sometimes. What style of music? I could put random or I could put pop or I could put hip hop. Uh Oh, let's see what random, smooth, disco, emotional folk, dreamy, rumba, groovy, Afrobeat, bouncy, J-pop, bouncy, J-pop. Yeah, yeah. I type fast, yeah. I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. Yeah, if it was a white t-shirt, I mean, it's Watergate, you guys. It's the biggest scandal to hit Comics Gate. Folk? <laughs> Folk, that'd be funny. Okay, let's, let's try Folk. Maybe that'll be cute. Um. It, oh, and look at the title it gave it is Rise Above, Mandy. Rise above, Mandy. I don't know if you guys want to read the lyrics it made, but uh, verse. She struts around like she's the queen of the crowd. <laughs> With venom in her words, she cuts me down, but I won't let her hold me back. No, no. I'll rise above it all. Gonna let my light show. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Allie, you think you're so cool, but you're a mean, but your mean girl act won't make me feel small. You spilled that water. <laughs> Thought you had the upper hand, but I won't let you break me. Gonna rise, understand. Rise above, Mandy. All right, let's see. Get that off of there. Okay. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. And it makes you two songs at a time. And usually, like, one's dope and one's not, uh, or they both suck. And see how quickly it makes it in about, like, a minute. 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, the lyrics are fun. It's, it's usually pretty cheesy with the lyrics. You can also put no lyrics and then it can just make a beat and then you can like continue from that beat and make lyrics. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. You can extend a song and make it as long as you want. With more verses, you see here how it like you put chorus and it's gonna make that like the chorus is gonna sound like a chorus. Pretty cool. All right, rise above Mandy. I cannot be held responsible for this, okay? She struts around like she's a queen of the crowd With venom in her words, she cuts me down It's not very folky, but okay. But I won't let her hold me back, no, no I rise above it all, I'm gonna let my life show oh, oh. Yeah, you think you're so cool, so, but your mean girl act like, won't make me feel small. Spill down water, thought you had the upper hand, but I won't let you break me, gonna rise, understand. She struts around like she's the queen of the crowd. Yeah, I'm in a word, she cuts me down, but I won't let her hold me back, no, no. I'm rise above it all, don't let my light show. Oh, oh, oh. hey, I you think you're so cool, but you mean girl, I gon' make me feel small. Spill that water, thought you had the upper hand. But I won't let you break me. Rise, cool. Let's try a trap version for the heck of it. And we can get a, a hip hop, a pop version. 
yeah, whatever. Um, I was hoping it would like mention Mandy's name or it's not the greatest at the lyrics. Anyway, those are generating. I made a trash cast one, I think. Let me see. Isn't it cool? It's only 10 bucks. You get 500 songs. Go get it, you know, and you get to use the beta. Make sure you're using the beta. The one on Discord is like version two. Version three is the one we're using right now, I think. The Discord one does not compare to this new one. It's so amazing. Uh, hold on here. This is Peter Sky Parker. Thank you for the $5. Hi again. Loving the stream. Also got an extra early hits or spot rebel Monopoly Go stickers. Love what you're doing. Big fan. New simp. Aw, thank you. I'd be honored to have you as a simp. We can be mutual simps because I have simp-like tendencies. Um, I don't know what you mean by spot rebel monopoly go early hits. Yeah, that's over my head. All of that, all of what you said there, I don't get it. But thank you for the $5 super chat. Now I'm going to look for something real quick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Meow, meow, check it, I'm a straight up cat. Rock in the streets with my paws like a maniac Cruising through the hood, looking real cool All the feline ladies be dropping their shoes I got the swagger, the attitude with the nest I'm a badass kitty, you can't mess with me, yes Haters talking smack, but I just laugh Cause they don't understand the allure of my current craft Meow, 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 I'm the king of the cats Scratching and attacking, nobody messes with that Meow, meow I'm the coolest on the block, purring in the hood, cause cats, we never... <laughs> I could make a thousand kitty songs and never be bored. Okay, let's listen to some of these real quick. I'll try to find the trash. I've, I made a lot of trash cast ones, and some of them, most of them, are not any good. Uh, is it this one? She's her too old, like she's a... She's got the real, like she's the queen of the crowd. It's singing in, in gibberish right now. The, that's pure. I love it when it does that. It just it adds all this gibberish out of nowhere. What? <laughs> this is like some bad lip reading level nonsense. That's hilarious. I don't know. I'm, do you guys get how funny that is? Some high grade um, gibberish. It's hard to come up with real authentic gibberish. And that's really good. Really good. All right. Let me see what you guys are talking about. The Meow Meow song. Yeah. And you can put your own lyrics too. If you have, you can probably come up with better lyrics than this thing can, but it can kind of help you. But it's so cheesy. But yeah, it'll sing whatever you want. I can see Shane Davis dancing it now. Yeah, you guys can make theme songs for Shane. You can make theme songs for all the, your favorite podcasts, your podcasts. Um, to explain shit that happens within your niche community on the internet, you can make a song of any style. I don't know. Those possibilities are endless. Like, I think it's going to be a new genre of this, the, the, the nonsense songs like because they sound like good cool songs but the words don't mean anything what they're saying is complete gobbledygook but it's the formula it, it uses really makes good sounding songs it's wild go over here uh -huh. 
So you can see over here on the right, the lyrics I gave it were just like characters, just weird um, nonsense boxes and stuff. Just nonsense to see what it would do. And that's how you get it to just kind of like go, it goes off at that point. It says all kinds of crazy shit. Listen carefully to this nonsense rap. I put in like some Japanese stuff and it just ignored that and it started. This is English nonsense. I heard and I'm a ninja rapping and I hug my cat or something like that. Like some of it's kind of pretty fire. Take a shower, all the man. I wave the camera. Take the shower, all me. I wave the camera. See you all night, it's stuck in the air. Oh, lost in the moment, we don't have a care. Oh, oh, Japanese rap taking us higher, higher. In the city of dreams, our love sets on fire. Sick. So, um, if anybody has any more requests, or just get on here, you better get on here. You better start making some shit, because um, you guys are more creative and funnier than me. And you guys need to get on here and make some cool shit. Yeah, yeah, it was a bunch of, like, meaningless English shit. It's weird. I love it. What does that mean, how oh dear? Let me see. I'm going to have to use my Google Lens to translate that. Do I have to? Hold on. Can you guys hear the shitty techno music that somebody's playing? What is this? Google Lens is not going to let me use it on the internet? Oh, wait. God damn it. Every day is a living hell. Every day. I gotta see if he's cussing at me. Hold on, I gotta use my technology. I'm doing it on my phone, hold on. Translate, and he said, the selected content will be sent to Apple to process the, just do it then. Shigimano Hamarana. <laughs> oh, Shigimano Hamarana. If you get it, you get it. I think I got Bahama Lamad, Mahama, you know what I'm saying? I got Shigima in, in Japanese. <laughs> Shigima. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> uh, I can never find the video when I when I say sh Shigima. 
But um, is the guy talking in tongues? Bahama Lama. Anyway, if you know, you know. Anybody who watches the Nacho's channel knows what we're talking about. <laughs> That's cute. I'm see if I can put that in the. Oh no, can I copy that? Let me see. I'll put that in the the lyrics. Does anybody have any greater? Yes, Adrian. She lately. Yes. What what can I do for you? You ring. Does anybody have any good lyrics? Or racious sounds says to be honest, the recommendations God deemed you worthy for me to see this. It's interesting to see what this tech is doing. Oh, awesome. Am I just a random recommendation for you? Because that's cool. Everybody needs to get on there. Um, it is sumo. Let me put the link in here again. I think the link is in the description too. Um, it's app.suno. Dot AI. I don't know how much they let you do for free. They might let you do something for free, but it's not going to be the beta version that we're using now, which is markedly, markedly way better. And it's amazing. It's going to get even better and better. So uh, I can't wait till they like, maybe they can let us put our own audio clips in like of podcast clips and stuff. Maybe they can work that in there somehow. Oh, that reminds me, I made one. There is a place that kind of does that. It's called boomy.com. You can do that for free on here. Let me see. I made one the other day. It was very chill. It's called Whack These Bushes, featuring Ethan Van Skyver. For me, I got over years and uh, these bushes. Listen, Dad, I got all 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 the artists in the art. Yeah, yeah, dude. For me, I got over years and uh, these bushes. Listen, Dad, I got all over years and uh, these bushes. Listen, Dad, I got all 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 the artists in the art. Yeah, yeah, dude. For me, I got over years and uh, these bushes. For years and uh, these bushes. Yeah, I got all all for me. I got over and seconds of audio. Yeah, And it'll chop it up. It'll you have options to like chop it up. It does it to the beat. It'll melodize it if you want. So many options and uh it always makes for a fun, cute little mix. You can do all kinds of genres as well. I love Boomy. The website is very pleasing. It's got like a black background with stars. Everything's very like futuristic, chill way. Aesthetic. Very aesthetic. It's been around since 2019. Let me see. Is this the one where I have songs? Let me see. Is this the one? No. Let me get on my other account real quick. That one has my Narwhal song. Yeah. What else, you guys? What are you guys doing? What What did I miss? Is there any new drama happening today? Did I miss anything today? I know Ethan had a trash cast. Who did he trash today? Hold on here. Okay, cool. Get that off of there. Get this one on there. Okay, this one. Not that anybody cares or wants me to do this, but. Um, anyway, here's a song I made called I Made It with my own clicking. It's called Holding Babies. Where is it? Here it is. 
Maybe this one. Featuring Narwhal and Ethan Van Skyver. Game it was about game. no drama, everything is perfect in the world. He heard that men get strength from holding babies. Narwhal, so adorable, isn't he? Uh, who am I fighting with? I don't have no drama, nobody, nobody at all. I'm a peacekeeper. I have multiple accounts like sketch therapy where I don't have the energy. I mean, I do have multiple accounts, but it's not like I'm like logged into them doing things on them. They're just multiple accounts that I have. I've got throwaway accounts with like 5,000 subscribers. I don't even give a fuck about shit. I don't even use one, a couple with a thousand here subscribers there. Ain't nothing but a thing. Mm. Eh, I got bored with this song. It, it kind of just goes like that. Oh, you couldn't hear it? Well. You couldn't hear it? Oh, the Holding Babies one? Did it play? Anyway, it's not that interesting. Trust me. I like this one. It made it made uh, a really cool little beat. I call it the Pleiades. Pleiades. Hello. Or not. What's happening? What happened? Oh. I think it's mad at me because I reached my song limit like years ago. <laughs> Why won't you play? It also published these to like Apple Music for me. So these are like on Apple Music under Sheila Aliens. Believe it or not, there's one called Messier 45. Tell me that's not a dope little like outro or intro. I'm not oh, I'm sorry. You just think I'm crazy then. Hold on. No, we can hear it through my fucking speaker, right? We can at least hear it through my microphone there. Is that right? Am I just having a seizure or a stroke? Hold on. Uh, um, um. Hold on 
I don't get it. So, um, but you guys can hear it through my micro. Just, I'm just too late. I'm too tired for all of this. Could you hear it through my microphone at least to any extent? Um, but you have more respect for Fernatra now. Says Link a bit. This shit, yeah, it is harder. I thought, you know, if I'm sharing my screen and I play something in that tab, that the audio would be playing naturally. Maybe I forgot to click something. But also, why wouldn't you just hear it through my microphone, which is right next? It's the same computer. I don't get it. I'm so confused. You guys couldn't hear it. But I could hear it with my ears, and I don't have headphones on. It's just playing out in the open. It's playing out in the open. <laughs> Why can't you guys hear it? That's crazy. I don't have headphones on. Okay. That's weird. How does that work, you guys? Abort mission. Let's try this again. Well, what about the ones we generated? Those played, right? Or have you guys just been kept in the dark this whole time? I know, right? I'm going to cry. I'm sorry, you guys. Humble apologies, but... um. Because when you share the screen, you share this. Oh, oh. When you share a window, it doesn't share the audio. You have to share the tab. Pardon me. Oh, okay. Wait. To share audio, share a tab instead. Oh, okay. So, as, yeah, the generated ones were in a tab, but the old ones from Boomi were in a separate window. So I get it. Cool. Mystery solved. Um, I'll try that again. Don't want to leave you guys hanging. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go holding babies. Let's start there again. It's weird you guys can't hear it through my microphone. I find that very strange. One moment, please. Okay. I have to share it to myself. Hold on. I guess the microphone like cancels out other noise that good. Technology has gotten to that point. Okie dokie. All right. Sorry, guys. Holding Babies featuring Narwhal and Ethan Van Skyver. I heard men get straight from holding babies. Holding babies. I heard men get holding babies. I heard men get straight from. I heard men get. I could have done more. Yeah, I, I don't have rewind, and I and I and I both of those. I heard men get straight from. Have a kid. Worse, 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 dude. It's like a narwhal. Worse, 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 worse. I could have done. I could have done. I could have done. I could have done more. And I have retarded. Yes, I figured it. Is it from holding babies? I heard men get straight. I heard men get straight. Holding babies all the time. Holding babies all the time. Right. Old men. I heard men get straight. Right. Old men. Old men. I heard men get straight. Right. Old men. I heard men get straight. Right. Old men. Old men. I heard men get straight. Right. I heard men get straight. Is it from holding babies? I heard men get straight. I heard men get straight. Holding babies all. Holding babies all. Old men. I heard men get straight. Right. Old men. Old men heard men get straight. Old men heard men get straight. You can like do a lot of little adjustments to it. But yeah, it'll take your audio samples and make a cute little song out of it. Kind of cool. Boomy.com. So you didn't hear whack these bushes. Are you telling me you didn't get to hear that one either? You didn't hear whack these bushes?
or did you? Here you go. fun though you could just like make little chill songs out of the uh, the thought of the day the thoughts the the goings ons of the day I should say what else and I hope you guys heard that one I hope it worked that time um, let's see I have some releases I'm famous oh, fuck it anyway um I don't know. Did we make more songs on the other one? Let me see. We could do that. If you guys want to make any more songs about anything, let me know. Or just get on there and fucking make something already. They're high quality songs. Let's see. Nope, we didn't make any more, I don't think. Uh, we could go to the front page and see what the top listened to songs sound like anytime i listen to someone else's song on here it's pretty fucking good but i haven't done that i haven't gone to like the front page here let's see cooking under the moonlight sad emo break core song in the silence of my room i whisper your name echoes of our love now flickering fast Shadows touch, reaching for my heart's higher frame The rain I mean, not bad for AI, right? The melody of logic leads me further from the truth These lyrics are beyond cringe Underneath the moon, the moon's pale glow I walk all alone, so slow Counting stars that seem to know My love is a no-show Oh man that's rough. Hey, Jack, Jimmy, do you rap or show them what you got? Yo, double time mastery. I'm here to break the sound barrier. Chat your PT, the name's legendary. Vocabulary, extraordinary. Sister will slice it through the air. Precision's just unfair. Speeding like I'm in the net fiber. In this rap game, I'm a hot flyer. Lines delivered with the speed of light. Insight so bright. I'm the AI dynamite in this digital fight. Night after night. Dang, AI spitting fire. Chat, chat GPT spitting fire. Mm, whale of the, the sandworm. In my dreams, you appear, I think. Oh, God, no. Do they have any? And you can do like, what's it called? Death metal. That one's always interesting. You can just have it screaming whatever you want it to scream. Pretty funny. Okay, let's make KSSS's biography song. Let's see. Since he is a washed up porn actress. They were they were joking, right? Or do they is that the is that really the conclusion that they came to for you, KSSS? Because um usually they're a hundred percent accurate in everything that they report on that website. I would be shocked for them to get any bit of information incorrect on there. All right. Uh, KSSS. Let me see, what did they tell you? They told you KSSS is gonna come out of retirement, says Linkovic. Wow. 
we support you. We support you and your lifestyle choices. Um, some <laughs> one on the Kiwi Farms website said KSSS is female and they wash up the porn actress. <laughs> How did they come to that conclusion? I love that. That's very funny. I hope they cited their sources in a, you know, with, with the references. Watch. Okay, let's try that. Uh. <laughs> They're not going to let me put the word porn. Oh, yeah, that does. <laughs> this is going to be funny. It's called Unveiled Truth. And we're going to generate it and we're going to listen to it. See what you guys are talking about. KSSS. Someone said, Dark Gift said that Janny, me, is a female. Who is Janny? What do you mean? Does that mean generator or generator? Does that mean janitor as in like a moderator? Janny, me, is a female and washed up porn actress. I was surprised. Someone said that Dark Gift said that. <laughs> Which he didn't say. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised by that. You should hear some of the shit I hear about myself that I didn't know was true. And they hear it from reliable sources, according to them. People they know telling them complete horseshit about moi. I'm like, okay, that's your people then. Go talk to them. For some reason, they came to you with a bullshit already so your songs are ready but that's funny it's funny how it's the discord and kiwi farms people they just you don't have to go in there and try to correct them or set the record straight they're just going to go off and make a whole fan fiction and it's, let them do it they're not hurting anybody really well unless you let them hurt you but no they're just they're just fan fiction writers it's interesting Oh, that's a rise above. Mandy, let's do it. In the dark corners of the online realm, the words are twisted and plots are schemed. The whisper circulates, spreading like a flame, but I won't succumb, won't play their wicked game. You think you know me, but you've got it all wrong. I won't be defied by rumors, just keep me moving along. <laughs> I don't know what you say, I'm more than the lies you eat. So go ahead and judge, but you can't break my belief. That's a great coping song. I'm going to listen to that every morning when I get up. Wasn't that cute? Hi, Devil Storian. Dabby's here. That's a cute little song it made for you. Um, KSSS. So if you're ever feeling down, down and out about what the Kiwi Farms are saying about you, you just recite this song. You'll be okay. Let's listen to the second one it made. In the dark corners of the online realm Where words are twisted and thoughts are scheme The whisper circulates spreading like a flame But I want to come and play the wicked game You think you know me, but you've got it all wrong I won't be defined by rumors, just keep moving along I'm not what you say, I'm more than the lies you read So go ahead and judge what you can't bring my Hmm. Fascinating. What's up, Dabble Storian? What are you doing? What you're still using this? You're talking about the the music maker thingy? Isn't it? It's gotten a lot better if you can get onto the, the beta version. Um, or you, I know you used the song I made for you, but that was the, uh, it's gotten better. So hop on to Suno, pay the 10 bucks or whatever, and use the beta version because it's really, really good. It's a better interface. You don't have to go onto Discord to use it. 
I'm making a birthday song for KSSS. Good stuff. Hello, Michael Fedor. Show. I've made some deep, some really good songs already on here. Like, and I'm into weird, like experimental music. It's it's good at that. In my opinion, I mean, it's good at country music. It makes it like heart wrenching country songs. Um, I'll play this one again. I'm no shameful history. Stalker at your prison You seem deeply confused Child or oh, stalker I'm not unlike you I am no shame for history Stalker Joy prison You seem deeply confused Child no Stalker I'm not unlike you I am very comfortable with myself as I am. I'm no shameful history, stalker and joy prison. You seem deeply confused, child. That's deep, yo. If it can make any fucking retard's tweets sound that good, isn't that awesome? This is high next level future art that we're making. Future. Um, Devil Storian says, I think I'm going to see what Joey says about our stream last night. Who's our? We got a thousand views last night. Oh, cool. Congratulations. You and whom? Where can I see this stream at? I'd love to watch it. I'd love to see it. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll watch it. Um, Geek Avenger, hello. He says, Thatrick is amazing. Cryptic web chronicles detailing his past is my guilty pleasure. Yeah, he's a fun lol cow to, uh, to watch. I'm glad more people, he's, he's crossing over to other parts of the internet right now because he's that good of a locale it's so funny it's like yeah we've been talking about that guy for years years all right let's see it's my birthday and i'm feeling fine she said no i'm not a porn star i'm a regular guy I don't know if you got if you caught those lyrics. KSSS. It says, "Pop the confetti, let it party all night." No, I'm not a I'm not a porn star, just a regular guy. Uh, but tonight's the night. Gonna reach for the sky. Pretty good stuff. It's my birthday and I'm feeling fine. Got the confetti in this party all night. No, I'm not a porn star, just a regular guy. But tonight's the night, gonna reach for the sky. Ooh, yeah. It's my birthday, gonna celebrate. Dancing like there's no tomorrow. Can't wait. I'm KSS on the mic, gonna shine it loud. No, I'm not a porn star. Okay, that's really, really, really good. Good, 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 good. So over here, you can go here and you can download the video. So you're going to get the lyrics. You're going to get a cute little video package. It's going to be all neatly made. And then we're going to check. We're going to check that out real quick. Birthday Bliss is what they called it. We're going to watch that one again with the lyrics on the screen because that was insanely awesome. The second verse is pretty dope. Stalker, enjoy prison. Mm -hmm. Hold tight, please. It's my birthday and I'm feeling fine. 
about the confetti in the party all night No, I'm not a porn star, just a regular guy But tonight's the night, gonna reach for the sky Ooh, yeah, it's my birthday, gonna celebrate Dancing like there's no tomorrow, can't wait I'm KSS on the mic, gonna shine it loud No, I'm not a porn star, just me in the crowd Okay, so that was on Based Pill. I'm all typing. I forget that I'm talking. Um, yeah, Based Pills channel. I will check that out. Dabble store in. Don't you listen to what Joey C has to say. Don't listen to that man. AI music. Yes, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Really good AI music, by the way. And it's cheap consumer ready everybody can access it and use it dillard i heard sheila used to be a spokesperson for bud light no 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 who said that who said it i'm gonna have to issue a statement about that your late jabba's here i can't see him because he's invisible to me okay no, your late jabba the cup the water has been spilled i made some songs about jabba but they weren't good so I thought I'm not going to share them. They didn't turn out good. But that was before I started using the beta version. Uh huh. I wonder if it let me put the word cuck in there. Song about notorious comics gate. A YouTube live chatter chat bully named Jabba. The cup. Let's see. There, probably doesn't like the word cuck. But, oh, no, he doesn't mind it. Cool. <laughs> the song is called Rise Above the Hate. It always takes like a SJW spin to things. It won't just like go down a negative path, really. It'll whine about stuff, but it won't just... It won't just be like, fuck that mother, unless you tell it, you could put your manual lyrics in and it'll probably say, fuck that motherfucker, but it's too nice. It's a nice lyric generator. It's too pleasant. I don't even drink Bud Light. Thank you. I would be a spokesperson for like Mike's Hard Dur Lemonade. It's got to be eight or 10%. I like the 10%, frankly. 10%. I seen, oh, there, Jabba. Obsessed. You're obsessed with me. I am, Jabba. I, I truly am obsessed with you. Um, I'm glad you're here because now I can spy on you. Now I'm going to spy on you. So just hold tight. Just hold your horses. Jabba, do you guys see this? You guys see what I'm doing here? Oh, no, you don't. Get that off of there. Um, hold on. And... This one? No. This one. Okay, here we go. I found it. I found you, Java. Oh no, where'd he go? There he is. We're gonna go to his channel activity. What has he been up to on my channel over the past year on here? Look at this. Look at what has he look at all this comments he's left on my videos and look at all of this. So rude. All the rudeness he's left me. We can now expose. Uh, what else we got? I have an alien's phone number. I bet those aliens are dirty little bastards. They're jerking off in the trees watching a MILF in the window. I'm inspired to write a new song. He smashed an alien. Uh, Sheila wouldn't be one to turn down a good probing. I want to play ping pong with aliens. 
Uh, are you on the spectrum? Sheila, you never answered my question. <laughs> you should cancel this dream. Um, you know, what do you have to say for yourself? Here's Java talking about me drinking Bud Light. I don't, I don't do that. Now, when you are seen drinking a Bud Light, you will be called a crossdresser. Oh, I don't think that was directed at me. You guys like your Bud Light, Jesus. Sheila is racist towards aliens. Do I believe in alien ghosts? Jabba was writing a porn script. It starts off like, I'm good at sex and have lots of money. If you get it, you get it. Um, telling me to end my stream. It goes on and on. It's really fun to just look at Jabba's various comments on whatever channel, if you're a moderator. It's fun. It's interesting. I'll make a, a coffee book about it. Coffee table book. Java exposed. We can keep looking if you think we should. I'm happy to keep looking at, you know, his insults to me. What is this? A house? I did a house tour. I didn't do that, did I? Stop stealing people's cats. She's fucking mental. <laughs> MK Ultra took a stray cat in called Sheila. Bless MK Ultra for putting up with you. Jeez. Sheila has jiggle mechanics. Ew, this is when you're being a pervert. Sheila is a leaker. Sheila is a leaker. Uh, Chim Jan. It's funny. And I can take all of these and make a job of bot that can insult people by just feeding it all of this. So that's a fascinating new feature. Don't think you're getting away with anything anywhere, you guys. People can see what you're up to. I like that. I like it. Although it's not completely thorough because it doesn't save everything. Anyway. What the fuck? It's 2.50 a.m. I'm going to hang it up. Hang it up to dry, you guys. I was really about to bail on this. I was just going to, like, quietly not start the stream and I felt so bad that I had 56 comments already so I'm glad you guys are in here thank you I guess there's nothing else going on tonight I mean at the moment oh wait what's happening did I uh Michael Fedor show thank you for the two dollar super chat he said super chat with no reason just being nice thank you and look he has a show he's got a microphone he's got headphones He's got, it looks like he's get, he got that shit figured out and he's doing a show. Okay. It's more than I can say. A show takes preparation. It takes planning, care, all of that stuff. You have to have the tabs lined up previously before you start. It's a lot of work. So go see the Michael Fedor show on his channel. See what kind of show he's doing. Okay. Keep typing. Is it ASMR? Anyway, it's late. Yes, thank you for tuning in. We'll see what exciting drama happens this week or what comic books come out in Comicsgate. Maybe Cyberfrog will come out this week or Rainbow Brute or Black Flag or the other one. Maybe Black Flag. Is it? I mean, how come you guys are okay? with Fraga um, defrauding everybody for $100,000. I get that he still goes live all the time and he freestyle raps and he's likable and he has the bunny suit, but he, he why, why is that okay? Is it coming out? Is Black Flag coming out or did he really just rob us all, not me, but you guys for 100K and that's okay somehow? He can still live stream and rap in our faces about it. Although he probably doesn't rap about that. I don't know what he raps about. Is that Why is that okay? Nobody ever mentions it. <laughs> That's a lot of money. If you took that money any other way, you'd go to prison. You know? If we, that's crazy. What a good, like, high-end scam that is, you know? 
he gave us the middle finger and you know he could have yeah, anyway i take offense to that that i just do i do and no updates he's not working on it fuck us he, he used us and he's still out there just working living his life streaming as though we don't exist and nobody goes over there and says anything or doesn't it's whatever it's rude i'm just gonna say it's rude and it's should be illegal to steal that kind of money from people and not be held accountable for it, but whatever. I take offense to that. What did I do wrong, KSS? Why, how am I not watching the chat? I, I mean, yeah, I'm an out of it. What did I miss? Jay Dalla has the bunny suit now. Yeah, I, I heard about that. So is everything cool with, I don't mean to like bag on Fraga. I like him or I liked him personality wise and entertainment wise. But then that's why it was so shocking that he just took off and was like, fuck you guys, never mind. I'm not going to, he just decided not to do it and left us. I thought that was kind of crazy. I didn't expect that from him. So of course I like the guy um, up the whole, up until that point. So it's just mind boggling, really. He, were we nothing to him? Were we nothing? Oh, you mean I don't watch the chat as in Vanessa's show? I lurk in there. I mean, I don't watch it all the way through, though. No, no, not. I can't say I do. Why? What did I miss? Probably everything. What did I miss? On the chat. Previously on the chat. Everything. Don't tell me that. Oh, well, thank you. Well, yeah. All right, good. I'm glad they're talking about it. <laughs> there you go. See? I thought it was going to be worse. I thought it was going to be like, oh, no, he he did. He fulfilled it, you dumb bitch. I was going to be like, oh, damn. That's how out of the loop I am. But I'm glad you guys are talking about it. Yeah, because I know she liked Fraga. A lot of us, you know, thought we were special. To him. Thought we he, we thought CG meant something to him. And I guess we, you know. Anyway, I just yeah, it is a weird one. But okay, so people don't ever really mention it. Would be like on Ethan's stream, like, hello, he brought that bunny suit guy in here let him rob us and he's not gonna mention it okay it's fine but yeah whatever you remember um carl o'roe or o'roe o'roe um it's funny that he ended up fulfilling his book after i started bugging his i didn't I was i wasn't being a bitch but i was bugging his family on facebook to see if he is alive i was just like is he alive he's gonna indiegogo might get mad he didn't finish that book but then i don't know if it's a coincidence but right after that he did he did deliver it and bravo that's all that's all you gotta do uh. The Kiwi Farms, okay, the, okay, anything for Kiwi Farms. They want me to close out with which song of yours? Um, KSSS. KSSS says, Sheila, the Kiwi Farms wants you to close out with my song. The birthday one, the, the, the cool one. All right, we'll get to that. Omer Glitch says, Fracker doesn't show up on Kings because he gets shit about his book, of course. He can't show up, but yeah. Yeah, I get it. He'd rather just not address it ever. Peter, uh, Peter Sky Parker, does every creator have those chat options? I've never seen that before. Which chat options would... Oh, no, no, no. Just, it's not creators who have it. It's moderators who have it. So if you're, if you're a moderator on somebody's channel, you can see a different user's um, chat history only for that channel. So it's interesting. I like it. So yeah, no, it's just a moderator feature. Moderator, I'll, I can bestow you a, a wrench. Hold on. So you can try it out yourself. It's only going to work for my, my channel, which is probably not that interesting to you. You got to become a mod for like some dabble verse people. 
Uh, where are you at? Participants. Peter. Um, hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Ah! I hate hearing my own voice. Hold on. Peter Sky Parker, how come you sometimes you're called David Skywalker? How come you go back and forth? David Skywalker, Peter Sky Parker. I get so confused. And moderator. You now have the power, Peter. You have the power. I'm gonna make my whole chat blue, just like Finatra. Everybody's everybody gets a wrench. Except for Dabble Storian. No, I gave a couple people a wrench. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna play KS as a song because I'm tired, I'm fading fast. I can't even figure out what where I'm supposed to click. Hold on. Stalker. coming up all right you guys have a good night i'm gonna play you out with this thank you for being here it was nonsense this is not a show um don't come back once i once this show is over don't re-watch it and don't recommend it to anybody all right thank you guys for being here it's my birthday and i'm feeling fine I think I'm steady in the party all night No, I'm not a porn star, just a regular guy But tonight's the night, gonna reach for the sky Ooh, yeah It's my birthday, gonna celebrate Dancing like there's no tomorrow Can't wait, I can't stop so on the mic Gonna shout it loud No, I'm not a porn star, just me in the crowd